picks. That might be critical on the stopwatch. We'll get a read right now. He's done a 20.7. He's already given away a couple of tenths to the fastest in the first sector, which was McLaughlin. We're hearing that he's got a roaded front tyre on, so that may have actually hurt the original grip level when he first turned the wheel at that first chicane. He gets through the fast chicane without a curb hop, so that's great. As you look at the tension in the garages, Moffat looking on, Alex Premer with Scott McLaughlin, and he's in the fence! He's in the fence hard at turn 11. That has hit the fence very you okay, hard. Buddy, you okay? Yeah, I'm hungry, mate, all good. Yeah, that has gone in hard. Now, it's such an easy place to overrun. That was where Van Gisbergen had the big brake lock. Wow, what a tough scene for them at Tickford. And that's pretty significant damage. That's going to be difficult to turn around. Good news, Chaz is OK. Uh, but a subdued completion of the Armour All Top 10 shootout, which is going to net an Armour All pole for Scott McLaughlin, moves his tally mark on to 16, which equals his season best in 2017. Here's the replay. He turned it in from very wide. He caught the curb. Inside fence. He got the fence on the left. He caught the curb, and then you can actually hear it in the background. We'll probably run it for you again. This is the other angle from the exit of the corner. Look at the amount of concrete dust it brought up. That is a nasty hit. That will have hurt. Yeah, belts will have grabbed him. Here's the chopper shot from the Burson Auto Parts. Bang. Chopper overhead. Just turned it in, mistimed it ever so slightly. This thing. Oh. Just an eye blink once you make contact with an inside wall. And he would be filthy with himself. Listen to this. You hear the stick oh. in the background. It's just plucked the left front on that 